Good morning and welcome to a Wednesday. Here we are starting off a very hot day today. We're expecting more hot temperatures. We're going to start off with a look outside your weather window. This is a shot of Interstate 15. Broadway exit looking south. You can see clear skies out there on the horizon. We do have this heat advisory starts up at noon today. The area is shaded in kind of an orangey yellow. We're stretching all the way from the upper valley in through Bingham, Bannock, Minidoka, Casia, in through the Twin Falls area. We're talking temperatures mid to upper 90s for today. Day. Right now, though, 54 degrees, a little bit warmer in town. Clear skies through Pocatello, 7 mile per hour winds. Idaho Falls, clear skies as well, 54 degrees with light wind at 9 miles per hour. Some temperatures around the region starting off in the 40s through Montpelier, Afton, Jackson, 50s through Driggs, Rexburg, 60s through Dubois, Island Park still a little on the chilly side, 44 degrees. 52 through Arco, American Falls right now, Aberdeen area, 61 degrees. Look at your wind speeds right now. We're looking at single digit wind speeds all the way from the upper valley through the Lower Valley, calm winds right now in through Downey, Soda Springs, six mile per hour winds through Driggs. And that's kind of where we'll be for much of the day because we have high pressure that's made itself at home. It's parked itself in through eastern Idaho and it's not going anywhere today. In fact, as you take a look through the uh, Intermountain West, you can see some rain showers making their way through the western portion of Nevada, eastern portion of California, pushing into Oregon to the deep south of us in through southern portions of Utah. We've got that monsoonal moisture, but in through Idaho and northern Utah at least high pressure, nothing really going on. We're going to be sunny and hot today. Our highs 97 Pocatello, 95 Idaho Falls, 94 Rexburg, 96 Blackfoot and American Falls. Highlands in western Wyoming, sunshine as well with daytime temperatures in the mid 80s for Jackson, Afton, Driggs. Uh, we're looking at 85 even through Yellowstone and that's warm for Yellowstone through the Central Mountains. Sunny today. Salmon and Chalice will both be in the 90s. Upper 80s for Ledor, Mackey, Arco 90 degrees for a high. Stanley almost 90 for a high. Overnight tonight into Thursday through the Central Mountains. Clear skies with our lows 52 for Salmon, 51 for Ledor. Stanley will be down in the 40s again tonight. Uh, Chalice 55, Mackey 58, Arco 57 for the Highlands and Western Wyoming. Clear skies. We may have a cloud or two passing through. 49 the overnight low for Jackson, 47 Afton, 47 Yellowstone, low 50s for Island Park, Driggs and Soda Springs. Then for the Snake River, plain clear skies as well. Idaho Falls hitting a low tonight, 51 degrees, 55 for Rexburg, St. Anthony, Pocatello, 53 Blackfoot, 58 for American Falls. As we take a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. The hot continues tomorrow, 96 the high through Pocatello. Clouds moving in on Friday, dropping about 10 degrees for our highs in the middle 80s for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We do have a Light chance of some isolated thunderstorms over the weekend, a better chance on Monday. Blackfoot also with the warm weather tomorrow, 97 for the high, 88 for the high Friday, Saturday and Sunday with partly cloudy conditions and a chance of isolated thunderstorms on Monday. Idaho Falls sunny and hot with 96 the high, 88 the high for Friday will remain in the 80s through the weekend with a slight chance of some thunderstorms. Rexburg mostly sunny and hot with a high of 95 for your Thursday, 88 for the high on Friday and Saturday. Teton area, we have a chance of isolated thunderstorms starting up on Friday. We're going to be in the 80s, taking us through the weekend with those thunderstorms, 70s by Tuesday and Wednesday. And for the Central Mountains, sunny and hot tomorrow, 94 for the high, chance of thunderstorms Friday through Monday. Deanne?